So uh, recall from one of our previous problems that um, the table shown here uh, shows the number of deaths uh, from hepatitis C, the disease hepatitis C in the United States, um, uh, in thousands. And uh, we're going to call that uh, uh, value Y. So uh, those numbers are listed in the second column of the table. Uh, T years after uh, 1990. So the uh, val uh, variable T represents elapsed years after 1990. And those uh, values are listed in the first uh, column of the table. So in this problem, um, the question we want to answer is, uh, what would be an appropriate graphing window uh, if we're going to make a scatter plot of this uh, of the uh, data in this table? So remember now, a graphing window um, consists of two parts uh, called the X window and the Y window. Uh, the X window is the portion of the X axis um, uh, that you're going to include uh, in your uh, rectangular coordinate system. And the Y window is the portion of the Y axis that you're going to include in your uh, rectangular coordinate system. So we need to, uh, uh, what we want to do in this problem is choose a graphing window, choose uh, what would be an appropriate X window, an appropriate Y window for making a scatter plot for this uh, table of data. Uh, now, uh, when we're writing down a graphing window, uh, uh, the X window and the Y window, uh, both the X window and the Y window consist of uh, three values that we enclose in square brackets. Um, the first value in the X window, that's the minimum X value. So that's the smallest value you're going to plot along the x-axis, or that you're going to show on the x-axis. And the second value in your x window is the maximum x value you're going to show on the x-axis. And then the third value in the x window is the scale, and that's the spacing between the um, uh, tick marks um, along the x-axis that you're going to draw. And it's essentially the same values for the y window. Uh, the first value in the y window is the smallest value, or the minimum value you're going to show on the y-axis. Uh, the second number in the Y window is the maximum uh, value you're going to show on the Y axis. And then the third value is the scale. So that's the uh, uh, amount of space you're going to leave between the tick marks that you draw uh, on the uh, Y axis. So we will, again, what we want to do in this problem is pick out what would be an appropriate X and Y window, uh, which collectively is known as the graphing window for making a scatter plot for this particular uh, table of data. All right, so let's look at our table of data again. Um, the T values here, the uh, elapsed years after 1990, we're going to plot those along the horizontal axis, or the x-axis. And then uh, the Y values, this number of deaths in thousands uh, from this disease, hepatitis C, we're going to plot, plot those values, of course, along the Y-axis. So if we look at the uh, values here in the first column of the table, the T values, we can see the smallest value listed, uh, the smallest T value listed in the table is 10. Uh, and the largest, the maximum T value listed in the table is 18. So that gives a, a clue as to how we want to uh, set up our X window, right? Um, we need uh, the minimum value uh, in our, uh, along our X axis in our X window to be um, no more than 10. And we need the maximum uh, value along the X axis that we're going to plot to be no less than uh, 18. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of room here, though, on both the left and the right. So I'm going to use a minimum x value in my x window of 8, a little bit below 10. And uh, maximum x value, I'm going to use a 20, a little bit above 18. And that's just to give a, a little bit of, bit of room, on, uh, room on the left and the right, uh, so that um, when we plot this point 18 and 15.8, or when we plot the point, uh, the first point here, 10 and 8.5, um, those won't, won't be right on the edge of our, um, uh, the left or right edge of our graph. Uh, now for the tick mark spacing, um, I'm going to use a tick mark spacing of, say, 2. <laughs> we could use a tick mark spacing of 1, or maybe a little bit more than 2. Uh, if we use a tick mark spacing of 1, though, that's going to give us a lot of tick marks here uh, that we have to mark off along the x-axis. Um, if we use a tick mark spacing of more than two, that might give us too few tick marks, and it might make the scatter plot difficult uh, to read. Okay, so for the Y window, 
Well, the minimum y value listed in the table is 8.5. The maximum y value is 15.8. So for my um, uh, minimum y value in my y window, I want to use a value that's no more than 8.5. And for my uh, minim a maximum y value in my y window, I want to use a value that's no less than uh, 15.8. But again, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room on the top and the bottom um, just to make the scatter plot look a little bit nicer. So let's use uh, a minimum y value of 8 and a maximum y value of, say, 16. So 8 is a little bit less than 8.5. 15.8 is a little bit bigger than 16. And for the scale here, uh, I could use 2 again just for a little bit of variety, though. Let's use a scale of uh, 1. All right, so I've actually constructed this scatter plot already using this graphing window. So I want to show you what that looks like. And you'll see uh, that this gra graphing window is going to give us a nice uh, scatter plot of this particular uh, table of data. So let me scroll down here. And here is the scatter plot that I drew. All right, so notice we plotted the, we're going to plot the t values along the horizontal axis, the x axis. There's my x window from 8 to 20. Uh, and I used a scale there, a spacing between the tick marks of two, so I didn't have to uh, draw too many tick marks. And then uh, for my Y window, my minimum Y value is eight, my maximum Y value is 16. But because I chose a scale of one for the Y axis, notice that I had to draw quite a few more tick marks there because the tick marks are only gonna spa uh, be spaced up uh, one apart. And then here are the points that correspond to each of the uh, pairs of data values uh, in my uh, table. So this is 10 and 8.5 and so forth. The last one here was um, um, 18 and 15.8, I believe. So you see that scatter plot fills up that uh, graphing window uh, quite nicely. We don't have any ex too much extra space here on the left or on the right or on the top or on the bottom. So we get a really nice scatter plot using of that data table using that uh, particular graphing window.